In the previous video clip, we calculated the price at which this interest out on instrument traded in the secondary market. Now we want to find out what is the capital profit of the seller, so the person who bought it in the primary market at 10% and who sold it in the secondary market at 11%, what is this person's or institution's capital profit, and then we also want to calculate the yield rate of the seller. Right, now this is an instrument that is interest bearing. So when you want to calculate the capital profit, you have to do two steps. And it can also, so it's capital profit or loss consists, you have to do two things. First, you have to calculate the accrued interest. Now, the accrued interest is the interest that this person would have earned at 10% if it kept it until maturity. It would have earned 10% over the full term. But now, it was only held for until the 25th of March, in other words, for 25 days. So now we want to calculate for this 25 days what would be the accrued interest at 10%. So in order to calculate accrued interest, we're going to use the interest rate at which it was issued, in other words, 10%, the interest rate at which the seller in the secondary market bought it, and we are going to use the number of days that it belonged to that, that, that person or institution. We call that the holding period. So that's what this H stands for, NH, and that is going to be 25 days divided by 365. This is the portion of the year that the seller uh, would have earned 10% interest on it. Right, so if we go to our formula sheet, we can see that the formula to calculate accrued interest is amount paid times I, which is now the interest rate at which it was bought in the primary market, times N for the holding period, that is the 25 divided by 365. So if we put numbers in here, it was bought by the seller in the primary market, in other words, at a nominal value of 1 million, The interest rate at which it was bought was 10%, so 0, 0,1, and the period for which we are calculating the interest is for this 25 days that it belonged to the seller. So 25 divided by 365. So if we go to the calculator and we do this calculation, starting from the back, 25 divided by 365 times 0 0.1 times a million and that gives you accrued interest of 6,849 rand and 315 so 32 cents. So your accrued interest on this interest out on instrument for these 25 days is 6,849 rand and 32 cents. Right. But we actually want to calculate the capital profit. So first we have to look at what is the total income of the seller. Now the total income would be the difference between what he bought it for and what he sold it at. 
So total income, if we want to calculate that, it is one million five thousand eight hundred comma oh nine minus the price at which he bought it, which was one million. So his total income is $5,809. Now, if we compare that to the accrued interest, we can see that the accrued interest is more than the total income. And that already implies to us that this seller actually made a capital loss. So to calculate the capital profit or loss, we say total income minus accrued interest. The total income we said was 5,800 and nine cent and the accrued interest is six thousand eight hundred and forty nine rand and thirty two cents. So if we do that calculation five eight zero zero point zero nine minus six eight four nine point three two that gives us Minus one thousand forty nine rand and twenty three cent. So that is the uh, the capital loss that was made because it's a negative amount. The accrued interest exceeds the total income, and that shows you that this seller made a capital loss when it was sold in the secondary market. You can actually already see that if you compare the interest rates at which it was bought and sold. He bought it at 10% and he sold it at 11%. And you will remember that there's an inverse relationship between the interest rate on the security and the price of the security. So you can already see when the interest rate on the security increases from when it was bought, that already implies a capital loss. So you will already know that this person would have made a capital loss just by looking at the different interest rates at which it was bought and the interest rate at which it was sold.